Hey, thank you so much for joining me for today's at-home Pilates session. Today is a stretch and flow workout. We are going to be stretching and working our entire bodies, but we're gonna do so in a really slow, restorative way. So our bodies are gonna feel really good after this workout. We're going to feel stronger, we're gonna feel longer. It's going to be fantastic. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start in an all fours position. So I'd like you to Really plant your hands down on the floor and just walk your hands out a little bit in front of your shoulders. From here, we're gonna curl our toes and push up and back into downward dog. So holding at the top of the stretch, we really wanna lift those hips up toward the ceiling, scoop the navel in toward the spine and flatten out the upper back. Now, if you need to deeply bend your knees here, that's fine too. Just keep those hips elevated, stretching through the spine. Breathe deeply, breathing in through the nose, filling the back of the rib cage. Let your head hang heavy between your hands. And slowly exhale. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Invite your heels down a little bit closer to the mat, feeling that stretch run all the way up the backs of your legs. Take a moment here for three, for two, and for one. Now we're going to slowly shoot forward into a plank position, powering up through the upper body, nice broad shoulders, lift your abdominal wall, deep inhale, and exhale, send the hips up, toward the ceiling, coming back into your downward dog, stretching a little bit more deeply. <sighs> Breathing in through the nose. And as you exhale, we're gonna come forward again into that plank, really nice and strong and stable here. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> Lift that abdominal wall and then push the hips up toward the ceiling. Nice stretch here, bringing those heels a little bit closer down toward the mat so that you're really feeling that stretch in the back body, breathing in through the nose. And as we come forward into plank, we're engaging that core, broadening across the shoulders, feeling strong and stable for three, for two, and for one. Back to your downward dog. From here, we're just gonna pedal out the heels Inviting opposite heel down toward the mat. As we bend the knees, keep those hips elevated. Keep that upper back nice and flat here. Good, we've got four, three, two, and one. Level out the heels and then slowly lower your knees down to the mat. Great. Now from here, we're going to bring our hands below our shoulders and the knees below the hips. We want the spine in neutral here. From this position, we're going to extend the right arm and extend the left leg. Find balance across the shoulders and the hips. We're gonna inhale, and as we exhale, we're gonna lift, holding in a balanced position, reaching toward opposite ends of the room with those fingers and those toes and lower. Inhale and exhale. <sighs> Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift and lengthen, keeping the spine nice and long, keeping the gaze down on the mat, focusing on balance and stability here. <sighs> Keep the hips square with the mat. <sighs> Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift and stretch. Lower and lift. Keep your belly button plugged in towards your spine. That will help with stability here. Keep those shoulders nice and level, the hips level. For two and one. Lower down, switch arms and legs. Extend the right leg, extend the left arm, find that balance and stability across the shoulders and the hips, and lift and lower. Inhale and exhale. 
Find that balance. Find that trunk stability as you lift and lower. Envision your fingers reaching for one wall and your toes reaching for the opposite wall, lengthening through the torso. We've got four abs in for three, reach a bit longer and two and final one, lengthen, lower your knee down to the mat, take your knees nice and wide and push back into child's pose, lengthening through the spine, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Walk your hands towards your knees, coming into a kneeling position. And now we're gonna bring the feet forward on the mat. Find the center of your mat and bend the knees. So we want our legs hip distance apart here. We are going to pull into the backs of the thighs to really elongate through the spine. Crown of the head reaches up toward the ceiling. Chin is parallel with the floor. Now from here, we're gonna inhale. And as we exhale, we're gonna slowly start to curve the spine into the shape of a C. As we straighten those arms, we're plugging the navel in. Hold here, feet stay in contact with the mat, and then exhale, breathe out and lift. Inhale, and exhale, roll it back, engaging the core. Deep inhale here, and exhale, pull your belly in towards your spine, and roll up. Now we'll release the arms, palms facing in toward each other, arms at shoulder height. Roll it back, nice, work that control, work that stability, engage the core, <sighs> breathe out to lift and lengthen through the spine. Good, come back a little bit further if you can, really plugging belly in toward the spine, and then lift, nice. One more time, we're gonna come down and hold, 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 hold and then lift and lengthen through the spine. Now extend the legs out long and roll down one vertebra at a time the whole way down to the mat. Bring your arms overhead, palms facing up toward the ceiling. Legs are hip distance apart, the thighs are engaged, belly is plugged in. We're gonna inhale to peel up and exhale, fold over the lower body and stretch toward your toes. Drop your shoulders and lower down one vertebra at a time. Good, peel up, reach and stretch, folding over the lower body, drop those shoulders, engage the lower abs and roll it down. Good, inhale, peel up slowly, work your upper abs and then work your lower abs as you roll down one vertebra at a time. Good, lift and fold. Drop the shoulders and roll down. Two more. Lift and fold. Engage the thighs, plug belly in as you lower with control. Last one, we're gonna come up, reach and stretch, grab a hold of your feet or your ankles or your calves, whatever you can reach, and draw yourself down into a deep back body stretch. Take a deep inhale in through the nose, and as you exhale, pull your belly in towards your spine, creating space so you can fold over the lower body, deepening the stretch. Relax the crown of your head. Deep inhale here. And exhale, ripple back up to a seated position. Great. Now we're going to come over onto our side. We're going to lengthen out elbow is underneath the shoulder and the forearm is parallel with the top of the mat. From here I'm going to bend my lower leg. I'm going to extend my arm out long and lift into a supported side plank and lengthen arm toward the leg. Hold here. If it's too much in this elevated position, simply lower your hip and focus on getting length through the toe 
and length through those fingertips as you cinch in the waistline, bringing the arm and leg together. Good. Make any adjustments that you need to. We've got five, four, three, and two. Final one, and relax it down. Bring your foot in towards your thigh, and reach and stretch, folding over the side body, lengthening through those fingertips for three, for two, and for one. Amazing work. Now we're gonna do the other side. So lowering down, placing the elbow beneath the shoulder. From here, the lower leg is bent for stability. You're either staying down or coming up into that supported side plank and lengthening the leg, lengthening the arm. If you are up on that knee, really challenge yourself by picking that lower hip up nice and high. <sighs> lengthening and breathing. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Bring foot in toward the thigh and fold over, lengthening and stretching through that side body. Lengthen and stretch as you breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Restack your vertebra, coming into a seated position. And now we're gonna come back down onto the mat, one vertebra at a time, rolling down. Now from here, we're going to bring the right knee in toward the chest, and we're gonna stretch the leg, lengthen, lower, and then stretch the leg a little bit closer toward the chest. Bend and lengthen and stretch. Pull that leg gently toward the chest. Nicely done. Now we're gonna take the left leg, reach and stretch, lengthening and bend. Gently pull that leg back towards you, feeling that nice deep hamstring stretch and bend. Two more. Deepening the stretch each time. And on our final one, we're gonna really pull that leg toward the chest for two and one. Release the stretch. Now we're gonna go back to that right leg. We're going to hold on to the calf or the thigh, if that's, all you, if that's what your flexibility allows you to do. We're going to extend the opposite leg out long, lift head, neck, and shoulders. And now we're gonna pulse the leg gently toward the chest. One, two, and switch. One, two, and switch. Nice. Really stretching that leg in toward the chest and flattening out the abdominal wall as you breathe out. Good, if it's too much with head, neck, and shoulders elevated, you can lower them down. Good. We've got five. And four, last three, and two, final one, and bring both knees in toward the chest. Take your right hand over your right knee, left hand over your left knee, and just circle the legs, the knees in opposite directions, massaging your low back on the mat for three, for two, and for one. Relax your feet down on the floor, stretch the legs out long. Okay, from here, we're gonna come over onto our side body. I'm going to prop myself up on my hand like so, or you can have your head rested on your outstretched arm. We're gonna stack our feet, ankles, and hips. Then we're gonna pick the legs up and hinge from the hip, bringing yourself into a gentle pike. From here, we're gonna lift the leg with a pointed toe and then we're gonna flex the foot and lower. Lift with a pointed toe, 
flex and lower. Lift and lengthen, opening up in the hip and then lowering down with control. Inhale up, exhale, contract your core as you flex your foot and lower with control. Lift and lower. Point through the toe, flex through the heel. Think about length here. So we want the leg perfectly straight and elongated as we lift and lower. Now, if you're losing stability, you can bend the lower leg. Sometimes that helps to give yourself a little bit more of a stable base. Otherwise, you're keeping that leg, that lower leg elongated and the muscles are switched on. Even though that lower leg isn't working, we still engage the muscles, it helps with stability. We've got three, two, last one, and lower. Now we're gonna draw some nice big circles in the air, thinking about length as we come up, around, and lower. Up, around, and lower. Good, now you really wanna be focused on torso stability here. We don't wanna be rocking around in the torso. Again, if you need to bend that lower leg for more stability, please do so. And we're thinking about length, using your toe like a pencil in the air, creating a nice big smooth circle. Stop and then reverse directions. One, good, two, lift and lengthen. Plug your belly in so that you are nice and stable in your trunk. Good, we've got two and final one and lower down. Good work. Now we're going to bring ourselves over onto the other side. <sighs> Getting nice and comfortable on that side body, supporting the head and the neck. Glue the legs together and pike, coming forward. Lift and lengthen and flex and lower. Lift and lengthen and flex and lower. Lengthening out from the hip, out through that big toe. Good. Moving slowly. Moving with resistance on the way down as well, so we're never letting that leg just sort of flop down. We're moving it with control. We're keeping all the muscles in the leg switched on as we lift and as we lower. Good. We've got four and three. Abs are in. Two and final one. Good. Now moving into those circles, really lengthening through the leg and coming up and around. Coming up and around. Challenging yourself by keeping your torso still and stable here. Plug belly in, relax those shoulders. Two and one. Nice opening in the hip here. Now let's reverse directions. Keep those shoulders relaxed and that neck nice and long. Good, move slowly and smoothly. <sighs> Lubricating that hip joint. We've got two and one. Great work. Now rolling over onto our backs. We're gonna lower down, relaxing the head, neck and shoulders on the floor. From here, we want our heels below our knees and our legs hip distance apart. The arms are pressing down into the mat. We're gonna inhale here. And as we exhale, we're gonna tilt the pelvis back and then peel up into a bridge position. Gently tuck your tailbone, no overarching, so we're not thrusting our hips all the way up toward the ceiling. You wanna create a nice flat surface. Now from here, we're going to bring the arms up and we're gonna lower, bring one arm back and one arm down and then lift, switching directions with the arms. Lower and lift, lower 
and lift. Again, reaching to opposite ends of the room with those fingertips. Lower and lift. Good. For four, drive up through those heels. And three, squeeze your bum as you lift up. For two, and for one, bring both arms back. Elongate through those fingers, palms facing up toward the ceiling now. Reach, reach, reach. Lift those hips, squeeze those glutes, and then lower down one vertebra at a time. Stretching your spine as you go, bringing knees in toward the chest. And now we're gonna take hold behind our thighs and roll ourselves up into a seated position. Nicely done. From here, we're going to get into place for some child's pose push-ups to target the backs of the arms. So we wanna take the knees nice and wide. Hands are about shoulder distance apart. We're gonna sink back into our child's pose, stretching through the tailbone. Inhale here and exhale, lower the chest between the hands and then push up through the heels of the hands. Now we wanna keep our arms really close toward the side of the body so that we are making sure that the work is happening in the backs of the arms, that we're targeting those triceps. Inhale, come forward, suspend the chest a few inches above the floor and then push up through the heels of the hands and sink back into your child's pose. Good, inhale and exhale. Inhale forward, exhale, push the mat away. Good, for three and two, push up through the heels of the hands and last one, push up through the heels of the hands and sink back into your child's pose. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now I'm gonna walk my left hand over to the left side of my mat and bring my right hand on top of my left hand as I stretch through the side body here. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Bring the hands back to center. Walk the right hand over to the right side, cover it with the left hand, and stretch through the side body for three, and two, and one. Nice, bring your hands about shoulder distance apart, bring your knees to parallel. Step your right foot between your palms, straighten out that left leg, and come up, interlacing your fingers, and placing your palms on top of your right foot. No, your right thigh, not your right foot. <sighs> Melt those shoulders down. Gently push that left hip flexor forward, that left hip forward, feeling that stretch in the left hip flexor. For three and two, sink a little bit more deeply. And one, take your hands down on the mat, right knee lower, Left foot comes forward, interlace your fingers, take them on your thigh, melt your shoulders down and back, gently pushing forward with that right hip, feeling that stretch, that deep hip flexor stretch on the right side for three, for two, and for one. Bring your hands down to the floor, Bring yourself into a kneeling position. Lift your shoulders up by your ears and round your shoulders down and back. Let's take two more. And last one, lift and melt those shoulders down and back. We are done. I hope you feel nice and stretched. I know I do. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to working out with you again next time.